Hello everyone, uh, myself Dr. Saurabh Saxena, an assistant professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering at IIT Madras. I would like to introduce a new course on phase lock loops on NPTEL platform. So, we will look at uh, what are the things which we are going to cover in this course uh, at a broad level and where this course will find its use in industry. So, uh, in today's world, a lot of digital information is generated by the internet of things. This information is processed, transferred at its, and is stored at different locations. The platforms that cater to this information vary from portable devices like your mobile phones to static facilities like data centers and supercomputers. However, if you, uh, if you look at it, both these platforms house a similar set of integrated circuits doing the job of processing, uh, storing and transferring the data at different scales. For example, mobile phones have a processing unit, memory, wireless transceivers for different standards, wireline transceivers to communicate within the processor, uh, between the processor and the memory and to the external peripheral devices. The analog to digital converter and digital to analog converter are there for the audio and for other activities also. You have a power management unit to uh, manage the power of different ICs which are present on the mobile phone. As you move to the data centers, the scale at which the information is processed, is stored and transferred increases at uh, in many orders of magnitude. Now, there is uh, a clock which synchronizes all these activities and at different data rates for different applications. This course is about understanding the basic principles of generating the clock required for different applications. And it uses only a single crystal clock source which is available in the market. Here is a basic block diagram of a phase lock loop. It has a, ref a crystal source as a reference clock to the P PLL block. The output frequency is n times larger than the input reference frequency as denoted by n times f ref and in locked state or you can say in steady state the output clock is uh, locked to the reference clock. A voltage control oscillator or the VCO it generates the higher frequency. It is regulated by the loop using a charge pump and a loop filter. In a steady state, the output phase is measured with the reference phase. The phase error output controls the current through the charge pump to the loop filter. And in this manner, we actually generate a high frequency clock for the required applications. After understanding the basic building block for the clock generation, we will be able to design the clock for different applications for a given jitter and noise specifications. I hope uh, you will have a good time in uh, learning the basics of the PLL and then uh, you will be equipped with the design techniques as you move to your project or an industry. Thank you.